Okay, so this is the first one to turn up. Let's uh, open this up. Just came uh, in your standard padded envelope. And this is the Ald Amaze Wow. This is the V2, version 2 of the Wow. Of the Amaze, I should say. And let's see if we can get this open. Definitely well packed, at least as far as the plastic goes. Okay, nice little box. Really hard to get this thing open. Now this should come with four extra capsules. There wasn't anything in the envelope, so I hope they included it in here. It's not looking good. Okay, so this is the unit in black. Just want to see if they included my extra capsules. Uh, nope, they didn't. Okay, so in here we've got the uh, magnetic charger adapter, Oops, which has got something stuck to it. Okay, so this is your uh, magnetic adapter, USB. Now, this unit uses these little capsules, like this. Let's see if we can focus in on that. These use these little capsules. Let's get one out. Without destroying it. Okay, so this has a little capsule and the ends screw on, rather neat. Let's try and uh, focus in on that. See it's got uh, holes in the side, at least I hope you can see. It's got holes in the side and also at the uh, top and bottom. And this just screws in. It's got a little spiky thing in the middle as well. Not quite sure what that's supposed to do. Okay, this is the unit itself. Uh, let's try turning it on and see what happens. I don't know if you have to... Okay, in that case it's probably one of these. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, there we go. Okay, it's booting up. Ooh, and it seems to be heating up. I think I'll uh, turn it off. Okay, that was heating up really, really quickly. I don't know if you noticed. So we'll uh, have a better look at it. So this looks pretty nice. It's got a nice uh, feel to it. Feels nice in the hand. Uh, I've got sort of smallish average hands. So it's quite a compact unit. To put it into perspective, let's see if I've got... This is my uh, Smok Nord. Yeah. Um, so pod system uh, the vaporizer so size difference it's uh, not too far off that's some um, sort of cooling allow air in to keep it cool so all in all it looks pretty good I got uh, two of these capsule units uh, the one I just showed you, another one. Uh, it's yeah, trying to get a bit more light in here, but uh, so I got this one, the other one, and it also came with some spare tops, which is also quite nice. But I'm not didn't get my four free pods, or well, I actually paid for them. So, and this is for doing some cleaning you've got a, a brush and this little scoop thing this is possibly for um, wax or oil I'm not sure I would say it probably is for dabbing that in there let's just have a quick look while we're here the uh, 
this looks to be focused. This top part stiff. This does not want to come. Whoop! Okay. Trying trying not to drop it and break it. Okay, here we've got you can see there, that's where the capsule drops in. Let's uh just grab one here. This just drops into there like that. This is the heating chamber, as you can see. Uh, it's ceramic. And actually the bottom looks almost glassy. It's whoo! It's hot from putting it. Okay, it, it's glazed ceramic. It is actually uh you can see that shininess. That is actually a glaze on ceramic. It is not a, a sort of a bare, un, uh, glazed ceramic, sort of rough. It is shiny and smooth. It's also kind of hot because it, uh, it was switched on earlier. So that's the complete kit. It's a nice, uh, nice outfit. So now let's have a bit of discussion about the specs and uh, give it a try. So looking forward to trying this. Okay, I actually looked in the bottom of the bag and guess what I found? Yes, the missing four pods. Uh, these are quite cool. I'm glad I got them. Uh, we'll have a little bit of a discussion now about the, uh, the different features of this uh, vaporizer and why I kind of like this these pods. Just one quick point before we get on to the rest of the review. Um, a lot of people complain about problems, not just with this one, in fact, less with this one than most, but with any of the ones with the ceramic heater, uh, they tend to be people who have problems getting slight cracks inside. Usually these shouldn't actually affect performance at all. But one of the main causes of that is that people are taking the vape when it's really hot, you know, like uh, four or five hundred degrees Fahrenheit, uh, you know, 200, 250 degrees centigrade, and you're opening it up, and oops, you're opening it up, and maybe even popping in a fresh capsule while it's still really hot. The shock, the thermal shock of cool air and especially a, a cold capsule going in is what's going to be causing the cracking. It would be a good idea to let the thing cool down for a minute or two uh, before you try changing the capsule. That will eliminate the thermal shock. Maybe give it one minute, take the, the cap off, leave it another minute, and then take the, the, uh, the capsule out. And that should avoid any problems with the ceramic cracking. Okay, now I've charged it up, and I've got to say, I'm very pleased with uh, it so far. The magnetic adapter here for charging works very nicely. It locks on very positively, and it's easy to take off. Uh, it's a good idea on something like this, because I can just imagine if you've got some friends over, you're having a few drinks, whatever. Uh, this get, it's could easily wind up breaking or damaging a, a USB port. So something like this, which engages like this, would be ideal. Now one thing I will point out, it's mentioned in the instruction manual, it's one of the few useful things mentioned in the instruction manual actually, is that you do not want to try vaping with this while it's charging, while it's plugged in. Now let's take a look at it, I've charged it fully now, so one, two, three, four, five, and on it goes. Now I can, it starts heating up really quickly, if I double click it, Hang on, it's supposed to be, oh, here we go. Okay, it goes into standby, yeah. And uh, slows down the heating process. Now you can adjust the temperature here. And okay, it's in very small letters down here. This takes it up to, let's go up to uh, about 180, 190, which is 370 degrees, okay. That's it. Now let's see how long it takes. It's already heated up a little bit, although it's cooling off. So let's see if we can, if that's focusing properly. So much for exposure lock. Okay, it's shut off. 
Okay, it's automatically going to go to the original temperature it was set at. So it's see how long it takes to get up to to that temperature. Five seconds so far. Ten. Fifteen. 20 seconds. I'm going to take it off. Okay, it took 20 seconds to get up to 190 degrees centigrade, which is about 370. That's sort of a mid-range temperature according to the websites that I've been looking at. Uh, they recommend anywhere from 160 to about uh, 220 degrees, 220 degrees centigrade, which is 320 to 420, 430 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but the, the, the indication on here is in both centigrade and Fahrenheit. Uh, funnily enough, when I was looking at all the different reviews on various vapes, looked at the reviews on this one, you got half the people complaining that it was in, included centigrade and half the people in, complaining it, it included Fahrenheit. So uh, that they tried to make it uh, something that everyone could use and seemed to have annoyed quite a lot of people in the process. Now. There's two ways that you can actually use this. Uh, you've got your heater in here. I'm going to keep my fingers well away from it because uh, it's probably pretty toasty. Uh, you can put stuff in directly. Now, when I first opened up the package and was looking at it, I found these little guys in there. If we can get the focus on it. Uh, these little disks. And I thought that those were possibly to put in here if you wanted to use it without... Uh, using the capsules. I've seen some other videos where people have been just dumping the stuff in here. I wouldn't recommend that because you're going to wind up getting ash in that, clogging up those little holes in there. And I don't know what's underneath. You might get it into the electronics, whatever. So probably not a good plan. If I did ever, for some bizarre reason, want to do it, I'd probably either put some of these in or uh, cut a little screen uh, mesh filter and, and pop it in the bottom. And uh, these are actually, these are filters, but they're for the mouthpiece. Uh, in here, you can just see it in there. You can see that. This comes out for cleaning. And this comes off, and inside you can put one of those filters. And it's supposedly to stop you from uh, inhaling anything, although to be honest with you, uh, can't really see how you would as it have to go up in here but anyway now this is quite interesting this acts to lengthen the path because the air has to come up through here through there and then this you can just see the the slits in the side there at the top and uh, that will help cool the the smoke or the vapor down a little bit and that just locks in and of course the bevel on here mounts goes straight into there and gives it a nice seal. Now all in all my, my impressions so far are really good. Um, I have had a quick uh, test run of it and one thing that I found that worked quite well, I did it last night, uh, was that you can take the temperature up to one of the lower temperatures say around uh, 340, 170 degrees centigrade, 340 Fahrenheit and pause it and then you can increase the temperature, take it off the pause, let it go up uh, another 20 degrees or something at a bit, bit higher temperature. It's very similar to the more expensive ones that have what they call smart, smart path or something, where basically the temperature increases and allows you to, instead of getting it all in one hit, as it were, uh, you can continue vaping, evaporating the remaining THC and CBD until you basically run out and it, uh, you're not getting anything anymore. You don't want to take it too high or you're going to start combusting the materials. So, so far I am really, really pleased with it. Uh, one thing that bodes well, I mean, one of the, the two things is, A, does it work? Uh, and it, it stays surprisingly cool for the fact that it's really toasty in there, you know, it can go up to the maximum temperature on here is uh, 260 degrees centigrade, which is 500 degrees Fahrenheit. 
and it seems to be pretty well designed and there's a nice space around the, the insulation around the heating element so it doesn't get really hot. So all in all, very impressive so far. The battery is 1800 milliamp hours, which is surprisingly large for A, the size of the unit, and B, for the price. And I can't really fault it in any way, shape, or form so far. One thing, the other thing, of course, is longevity. How long is it going to last? Now, one good indication is that they do actually sell replacement mouthpieces and more of these capsules. Now, one thing I will go back into a little bit more about these capsules. One of the neat things about this, because you're not combusting anything, there's very, very little odor. You can easily use this in public uh, without anyone really realizing what it is, and or at least what it is that you're vaping. Now, with these little capsules, you can put a a small amount, whatever, well, whatever amount that you want in here, and you can have several capsules with you and just reload, as it were. Uh, when you've finished one session, you, you can just take the capsule out. I'd wait until it cools down. And then later on, you can simply reload it by dropping in a capsule. Virtually no odor is going to escape, not like you're sitting there with a bud crumbling it in there. So you've got a very, very nice little system for traveling or a day out in public somewhere. Now, thinking about it, these little spikes, I think they say you can like stick a little nugget of uh, hash or um, weed on it. I think it'd probably work better if you didn't crumble it up too much. I'm not, I'm not really sure. I haven't had a chance to really, really try it uh, that much. But uh, you're going to get much slower release. I Probably hash would probably be you'd want to crumble it up more than, than would be necessary with weed because it's fairly solid and the outer layers are likely to insulate the inner layers, etc. But uh, with a bud, you could probably get away with just sticking it on that little spike. I'm guessing that that's what it's for. So maybe uh, when I've had a bit more time to experiment with it, I'll uh, post in the description of the video, I'll post a little bit more about what I found that worked or, or do a little short add-on video for this. But anyway, all in all, I'm very impressed with the Ald Amaze Wow. Uh, this is actually Generation 2. They did the Ald Maze, and then they did the Ald Maze Wow. You can tell the difference. Uh, they're still selling both of them. You can buy both of them on uh, eBay or AliExpress or whatever. The difference is, is that the Wow has the magnetic charging port, where the, whereas the original Ald Maze just has a standard USB micro, the port that we all know and love. And... Uh, that's an easy and effective way of telling them apart. So all in all, an excellent buy. And I think I made a very good choice. I was looking for the best vape at a reasonable price. I, there is no reason why these things have to be 100, 200, 250, 300 dollars, euros, whatever. These are basically a heating element, a little microchip controller, and a rechargeable battery. Um, they're no different from, say, a rechargeable soldering iron. In fact, the Volcano vaporizers, the super expensive ones, I don't know what they're using as a core in those things now, but when they first came out, they were actually based on uh, a bench soldering iron, temperature controllable soldering iron. So there's no way that, that these things should be so expensive. You can make, and this proves it, you can make a very decent vape for a reasonable price. You're probably looking at a paying a, somewhere in the region of about 50 US dollars, 50 euros uh, or less. Uh, I got this for, I think it was something like 46 euros, which is about 50, uh, 50 bucks. Uh, but that was with four extra capsules, giving me a total of six. And uh, since I'm actually a, a very light uh, user of medical herbs, uh, that's, that's plenty for me. So, okay. Well, I'm very impressed, very pleased with my purchase. And uh, when I've finished uploading this, little, this video, I'm, I'm going to continue with my field testing of, of my new possession here. Oh, one last thing. We mentioned the, 
centigrade and Fahrenheit and uh, how it annoys both Americans having it in centigrade and Europeans having it in Fahrenheit. That's something you, you won't see very often. Uh, this, as you can see, thermometer, it's what's known as a squirrel tail thermometer based on the little curly mercury tube here at the bottom. And this is in R and C, centigrade Celsius, obviously, but this is a uh, Rumeur scale. It's French, I'm not exactly sure of the pronunciation. And uh, this was invented back in the 1700s by this uh, wealthy French scientist. And it's a similar scale in that it starts off at zero uh, as the freezing point of water. But this one, the Rimeur scale, I'll, I'll put it in the description, uh, goes up to 80 degrees as the boiling point of, of water. It was actually based on the expansion characteristics of alcohol, which he used in his, uh, in his thermometers. So just be glad that you don't have to deal with uh, another temperature scale as well. <laughs> Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope if you're thinking about giving up smoking tobacco, uh, I did, and I'm very, very glad I, I did. I felt a huge improvement in my health. But if you want to still be able to smoke herbs and you want to go to something a little bit healthier for you than uh, actually burning the stuff, for example, in a pipe, then I would definitely, definitely recommend this as the best budget option, and provided it doesn't like break over the next you know few weeks or months as long as it has good longevity then i really wouldn't bother paying any more you're not going to get much more in the way of features you've got a wider temperature range from 100 degrees centigrade all the way up to 250 so you've got a huge range much wider than than most of the uh, other even very expensive vapes on the market so i think this is a really really good product and i will keep uh, update if there's any problems and for my next video I'm going to do a couple of classic pipe designs for those of you who want to smoke without smoke mixing with tobacco but don't want to go to a vape so uh, I hope you'll enjoy that video as well so please like the video if you've enjoyed it and uh, subscribe I'll be doing some more marijuana products as well as of course some more lead grow light technology videos so let me know any feedback, any comments, and what you'd like to see in some more videos. Okay, well, goodbye, happy growing, and happy smoking, or vaping, I should say.